Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. Today we are delving into Filipino cuisine where colors and flavors call it to create mouth-watering dishes that will tantalize your taste buds. Ever try to cook some mouth-watering dishes like torta ang talong or ginataang lapu-lapu? Welcome to our culinary adventure as we explore the uniqueness of Filipino dishes. These recipes not only satisfy hunger, but it also reflects the rich culinary heritage of the Philippines. Get ready to enter the Philip Trencha kitchen where cooking is all about fusion between Filipino and French influence. Today's breakfast, torta and talong. But first thing first, coffee. Yummy! What is that? Banana pancake. To cook our torta and talong, first we're gonna need to get some charcoal. This dish is a Filipino omelette style made with smoky eggplant. Babili po! Uling? Amat po! Hello, duckies! What is that on there? Be there! We have stickers. We are back and ready to cook our talong. This dish requires fruit few processes. First, we're gonna start by barbecue grilled our eggplant. And while cooking, the kids are playing, climbing, climbing. Then we're gonna cut a whole head of garlic, four onions, and one tomato. And we're gonna stir fry everything in the pan. Starting with the garlic. Then the onions, potatoes, and let it stir fry a few minutes. Now our eggplant or barbecue smoked, so we're gonna remove the skin. And actually, that's about one kilo of eggplant. So I'm gonna use half of it for torta and talong, and the rest we're gonna make baba ganoush. But first, let's focus on our torta and talong. We're gonna first cut the eggplant. So removing the head and then cut it in two, then in some cubes. Alright. Add four eggs in the eggplant. Then two tablespoons of rice flour. By adding our garlic onion and tomato. Let's add some seasoning, salt, half a teaspoon, some ground pepper, cumin powder, half a teaspoon, coriander, butter, half a teaspoon, Italian herbs, maybe one teaspoon. There we are. Oh yeah! There we are! Now, we're gonna cook it! In the pan, add some oil and about 3 spoons of our preparation. Let it cook and then turn it upside down. And there, our torta and talong is ready! We can now take care of the rest of our eggplant and make our baba ganoush. You simply need to add the eggplant in a mixer with uh, one fourth cup of tahini and blend it until smooth. And that's what you will get. In the bowl, add two minced garlic and two and a half teaspoon of calamansi juice. Finish by adding the eggplant and mix it well. Your baba ganoush is ready. You can serve with pita bread. It's delicious. Moving on to our next delicious Filipino dish, we need to get the ingredients for our ginataang lapu-lapu. Green papaya, some malunggay, 
fresh lapu lapu fish that we just got in our neighbors then couple of other ingredients that I will show you later Ginataang lapu lapu requires some time to cook but it's worth it it's really delicious so first we're gonna start by cleaning the fish then cut it and fry it why mama is taking care of the malungai needs to separate each leaves from the branches requires a lot of patience so here our ingredients for the ginataang is the we need a uh, chili ginger garlic onion and then fried fish some papaya malungai coconut milk and then some fish sauce some white wine and then in terms of spices we say soft so cumin coriander paprika okay let's start start with some oil stir fry chili ginger garlic Onion. Adding some flavors with some wine, sweet white wine. It's time to add our fish. A tablespoon of fish sauce. Black pepper, coconut milk, and glass of water just to clean my glass full of coconut milk still. Coriander, one teaspoon of cumin, and half teaspoon of Spanish paprika. Just mix a little bit. And let it simmer. Then add your papaya. Then cook them until softened. Then you can put the malungai tips. Wow, this looks really nice. All right, all right. It's cooked now. The fish is all down and you can see the papaya and malungai on the top and it smells really nice. Lastly, we're gonna cook some muffins for our merienda. Choco banana muffins. So we're gonna use about 200 grams of banana. And smash them using a fork. Add three eggs. And mix well. Try to combine the banana and the eggs. And then we're gonna put some homemade peanut butter. 150 grams. A pinch of salt. Baking powder. Cocoa powder. Mm cinnamon 80 grams of flour and getting our special pot for baking and we're gonna fill one by one our muffin cup with the dough some sesame seeds on the top of each muffins it has a nice look and it's also good additional nutrients 10 minutes on the slow heat and it's ready I hope you enjoy exploring our island style cooking. Remember, natural ingredients, fresh food, homemade cooking are the best you can eat for your overall health. Stay away from 
processed food and industrial food that will only cause you disease with all additives and edulcorant it contains. Homemade cooking, even the simplest cooking as two eggs, as rice, are always the best options. Share your favorite dish recipe in the comment and please don't forget to put a thumb up. This will help us a lot. Until next time, happy cooking everyone!